On this episode of an in-depth look, using the multi-platform open source DVD ripping tool Handbrake to back up your personal DVDs. <laughs> DVD backup laws vary depending on country and your geographical location even in some countries. In the United States, there is a fair use law, but uh, it's a little gray if it actually applies to commercial DVDs. So for this video, I'll be speaking strictly in the context of backing up your personal DVDs that you've recorded. Depending on your country and, and the laws there, it'll vary for you. So the program that I like a lot is called Handbrake, and Handbrake has just recently had a new version that's come out. One of the uh, nice things about this new version is they have an official client that they are now supporting and maintaining a GUI for the Linux version. Handbrake has a Mac OS X, a Windows, and now a Linux GUI to rip, well actually now to encode DVDs. Handbrake is capable of ripping DVDs um, on Mac OS X and Windows if you have VLC, the video player, video LAN client installed, or on, Wi or on Linux, sorry, if you have libdvdcss, I believe it's called. So it's possible if you have those, one of those things installed on your system for Handbrake to rip DVDs, if they have copy protection. If you're doing personal DVDs, it doesn't really matter. So like I said, Handbrake is free. It's GPL licensed, so it's completely free, no restrictions of, of anything other than having to, con having to contribute back any changes you make to the program source code if you were to do so. It, uh, it's a multi-threaded encoding system, so if you have multiple processors or multiple cores, Handbrake can take advantage of those to speed up the encoding process. So if you have a quad-core system, you'll see direct benefits with Handbrake and its encoding. Some encoding programs that are out there right now, um, depending on what system you're on, DVD Shrink is a popular one for Windows, and DVD Rip is a popular one for uh, Linux, they are single-threaded. So they do not really get it, they don't get much of advantage from a multi-core system, whereas Handbrake directly will. Um, Handbrake also can use multi-threaded capability, ha also has multi-threaded capabilities for de-interlacing, where if you have a video that has some lines, some jaggies in it, Handbrake can use multiple cores to go in there and smooth that out. And that, all, that is often a very slow choke point um, on DVD ripping. So it's a very nice feature, along with the encoding and the de-interlacing. That's the two major things that when you're ripping a DVD that take the longest. Um, Handbrake has also included the latest improvements to the H.264 uh, library from the X264 project. H.264 is a video codec where you can fit a lot of a, a lot of picture into a small file size. It's common on a lot of Apple devices like iPods and iPhones. And the X.264 project is a free implementation of this format. And Handbrake uses that when it encodes H.264. And they've brought in a lot of great improvements from that project to get really, really stunning picture quality at considerably lower file sizes than something you'd get with like an XVID or, or other file formats. Um, <clears throat> Handbrake also, also recently uh, added support for the AUG Theor video format, which is based around the uh, completely free, completely open source video standard Theor, which is now built in support inside Handbrake. So you've got a lot of great options now for your video encoding options, along with it does traditional XVID, MPEG-4, uh, H.264, and now AUG Theor. So that's pretty great. Handbrake also, also uh, includes the file container support for M MP4s, WMVs, AVIs, and OGMs and XVIDs. So you've got a lot of container support and a lot of file format support. Basically what that means is if you've, if you've got a video file format that you want to use and a container that you want to use, you're going to be set with Handbrake. So that's great to have those kinds of options. That's also very nice. One nice thing that kind of takes some of the mystery out of getting your movies to play back on your device is the built-in presets functionality that Handbrake has. Handbrake basically along the, the, the left hand or maybe it's the right hand side of the application gives you a list of devices to choose from. So maybe you are encoding for a PlayStation 3 or maybe you want th something to play back on an Xbox 360 or an iPhone or an iPod or something like that. Sometimes there's certain bitrate limitations or certain limitations here or audio limitations. Some, sometimes just different devices support different things as we all have learned over the times and it can be frustrating. Handbrake kind of takes some of the mystery out of that by, by realizing what those devices support and then allowing you to just to choose which preset you want to use and it pretty much guarantees playback on the device that you selected. That's very nice for those of us who own a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360 and have run into that or an Apple TV. 
That's also another one that has some kind of funky limitations as to what it supports. Um, a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, but there has been an issue with DVD ripping software and lip sync issues where you're going along and you notice that the movie, the, maybe the picture of the movie, starts to lose sync with what the actors are saying on screen and it just completely takes you out of the movie. Handbrake now says that their lip sync capabilities should be as good as anything you can get off of, it, of, off of a set-top standard DVD player. That means probably the most bulletproof lip sync you're going to get from, from uh, ripping a DVD. That's excellent. So that should really take out something that I've always felt kind of seemed like a real 1990s kind of an issue when it came to backing up your personal DVDs. That's now been taken care of, and that's great. Another thing that uh, is really great in Handbrake is if you do go with some of the file formats to support chapter selection, it actually can scan the chapters in the DVD and then embed those into the movie file. So you can skip ahead in chapters or you can choose chapters depending on your player. Like um, VLC will support you just automatically, you can go in there and choose which chapter you want to go to and it'll jump right to that point in the movie. That's a great feature and now it embeds that into the movie file. I'm not sure what formats other than H.264 support that, but uh, it's there for those that do. It also can do subtitles, and you can toggle them on or off. It can embed them in the metadata layer of a movie file, so you can turn on subtitles. So if you have someone in your family who is deaf, and you want to back up a DVD, Handbrake now supports those subtitles built right in. Like I said, the main downside to Handbrake is it doesn't it no longer has native built-in capabilities for ripping DVDs. It doesn't have the decrypting functionality if you're backing up a commercial DVD that you've purchased. Now, the workaround is to install a library on Linux or to have VLC on Mac OS X or Windows. So it's a pretty minor limitation, but it's something to be aware of. I'm not sure what you might be using now, but uh, it's something it, or I think also on Mac OS X if you're using a program called Fairmount which I believe also relies on VLC. Fairmount takes care of the encryption, so you don't have to worry about that. So overall, if you want to back up your personal DVDs, you really cannot argue with the fact that Handbrake has really come into its own as one of the best options out there. I'm super impressed. I've, over the years, used a lot of different programs, and I think now with the mul multiple platforms, with the same common GUI, presets and all the other features that Handbrake has, I think it's a real winner. So I say if you want to back up your personal DVDs, give Handbrake a try.